Hi everybody, welcome back to Debris Day. So we're nearly at the conclusion of the uh, 18650 battery build. Today we're going to build the BMS PCB and going to attach it to the stack of boards that we've already got. Let's go guys. Okay, let's talk about BMS or battery management system. Um, as you can see, this is a, a BMS unit which you can buy off of Amazon or eBay. These are quite small little BMSs. Um, we've got the uh, board from Jehu Garcia. Um, this comes with all of the components that you need. Uh, they're listed down here. So you've got some XT90 connectors, um, which will connect onto the board here. Uh, you've got some standoffs, which if you remember, we uh, we used those previously on the, on the battery pack, which is, which is here. Um, we've got a couple of fuse holders um, and they will be used to uh, connect to your fuses. Apparently when this is fully populated it can take up to 50 amps so uh, quite important to have those little fuse holders. Um, one of these ribbon connectors, um, the other part is just over there which will connect the ribbon onto the entire stack. Um, the board which I already talked about uh, and that's it, that's what you get with the system. So uh, my goal today is to take the BMS and we're going to connect it onto here. Um, look at the traces on the back, you can see where uh, the traces go through to the minus sign up here um, and then the rest of the connections go through onto the board. You can have actually up to three BMSs, I'm just going to connect one up uh, for the unit for today. So first things first, um, some people use double sided sticky tape on this, I'm just going to use a hot glue gun and I'm going to uh, hot glue gun the actual physical BMS onto the board being close to these connectors here. So let's do that. So just a note before I get started, this is a P7S 20 amp BMS. Um, I'm running a 7S, uh, 7 string set of cells, which is uh, what we built in the last video, which I'll post a link up at the top there. Um, and you can use up to three of these to, uh, I believe, BMS or battery management manage up to 10 of these boards. Anyway, hot glue gun's no hot. Let's put a little bit in here. Okay, that's the uh, the first bit done. So now the little BMS is connected onto here. Uh, so what we're now going to do is connect uh, the ribbon cable connector onto the board. Um, and the way we do that, we make sure it's connected to the uh, the P plus at the top and P minus at the bottom, not the DT, which is for a later project. Turn it over. Um, and you can see that this black bit here aligns with this line here. So we'll just get our soldering iron there and solder that up. My soldering has got better than what it was. When I first started, my soldering was awful. But with a little bit of practice, now I've done, this is now the sixth board. You can see it's getting, getting better. I'm still not the fastest of persons to solder, but I can now solder. It's okay. I think that's it. It's a quick check. Okay, now we've done uh, this part. The next bit we have to add is the fuses which go here. These are these are little fuse holders. Um, so they go in this way. One. Two, oops, that one's dropped out. Number two, turn it over and then we need to solder those over. Um, I'm gonna put the thing on the other end again. So these all come through here. I just move this up so you can see it. These all come through here, I'm now gonna solder these. Decent amount of solder. Let's do this. So that's the fuses on. Almost there. So next thing uh, we've got the uh, the XT ninety connector, which is here. We've got a, a red and a, a black wire. We're going to connect these up to the XT90. Got a positive here and a negative here. We need to hold this in here, solder them in there. Same on the uh, the other side. So let's move out of the way. Uh, let's just do this. 
Okay, so let's get this up to you here. So we are all set. Okay, we've got the uh, XT90 connector ready, but we'll put that on in a second and we'll put the fuse on in a second. Uh, next thing we want to do is connect up the, uh, the uh, con connector wire from the BMS to the board. Now the best way to do this is to connect it up here, is to chop these wires, bend them down and push them down into each of these holes here. So let me do that. Okay guys, well that was hard work. As you can see, um, I've now soldered all of these on. I just need to trim these off in a moment. Um, what I had to do, I had to remove the uh, BMS off of the main PCB, um, solder them on, then connect it back up. It's just too difficult to do it for me as an amateur solderer. So what I'm gonna do is connect the BMS back on, just heating up the hot glue gun, just gonna re-glue this back on. Um, then I'm gonna connect a wire to here to here, put the fuses in, and, and in essence, that's done. Okay, that's hot glued back on. Um, let's connect up the B to the B, A to the B. So I'll just use a piece of this wire I've got here. Um, I will cut it in half, because it doesn't need to be that long. Strip it. Strip it on both ends. So it's pretty long. Get rid of these, don't need these anymore. And this one over here. So I've got a little piece of wire. I'm going to connect that up to the BMS. And then I'm going to connect it up uh, to the board. Let's do some soldering. There we go. Almost there. Okay, the final bits. Uh, let's take our cable here. Um, negative on a negative, positive on a positive. Negative, positive. So we can now connect this onto our stack. I'll zoom out. Connect this onto our stack. Put my uh, ball posts on. we now have an integrated BMS. Um, the other thing I want to do is put the fuses in, because it won't work without the fuses. So these are two little fuses. These are little 30 amp ones. Pop these in here. Number one. And number two. And that is our BMS rigged up to our pack. We can now charge with the uh, XT90 connector. We have all the cells in line. Uh, all we need to do now is put the ribbon cable on, uh, onto this top bit here, and we are done. So as I mentioned, the final bit I've just got to do is put these ribbon cable uh, across here, and then we have completed our pack. I'm not gonna do that now, I'm gonna do that next time. Um, next time you should see the video, we should be rigging this up to the solar, char solar charger. So guys, I hope you found it useful. That's installing the BMS into the 18650 Chihiro Garcia's uh, PCBs. Um, that's now complete. And the final stage is to put this into our solar setup, which will be next week or the week after, depending on when I can get around to doing it. Um, and then I'll demonstrate it is all working for you. Hope you found this useful, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Dubri's Day. Cheers, guys. Bye.